I can remember everything. You'd been to Glastonbury and you came to the office and you said, I'm exhausted. It was the first time that I suddenly thought, actually, there's something wrong. And we've all got to sit down and we have to have a talk. And then that was, that was the start of it, really. It's funny you should say, like, the word exhausted, cos, like, throughout the whole time, I just felt like I was getting more and more, like, tired. But I've got to keep up the pretense. I've got to keep it together. And, like, I had these moments where I'd crack. Certain people would see that it wasn't... something wasn't going, like, right. But I just decided that it was fine just to act like everything was fine now. I think we all did, really. I think we were all in denial. I just thought you had a problem with drugs. I didn't really think it was anything else. Until... until you tried to kill yourself. I definitely had no... did not know how to share with someone the fact that I felt really, really depressed. I understand, cos I... You know, I come from a generation that children are seen and not heard, you know. You're, you don't talk about your feelings, and if you express too much of emotion, you're accused of showing off. Yeah. Um, from Charles and I's point of view, I think what was good for us was meeting other parents that either suffered from depression or had children or relations that suffered from depression, because it is a difficult thing to understand. The world will look at you, look at you, you're beautiful. You've got a lovely life, you've got an amazing house, you've, everything's great, mm. but actually... That's probably one of the worst things about depression, is that there's nothing to physically see. When you're that unhappy and you're... It was just so scary and it was so dark and horrible... ..and if I... And I did everything that everyone told me to do and I went to meetings and I talked and talked and talked... That's all I ever did, so now I'm here and I'm happy and... My life changed. So if that's all I had to do, then I couldn't believe it that was that simple. What, to talk? To talk. I, I literally thought it was going to be something so complicated. Funny that, isn't it? Yeah. The first step is admitting and then is asking for help. Yeah. I'm more proud of you than I can possibly ever say.